Okay, so we're going to start working on one side of our building. We're going to create a door. I start near the center of the building with a vertical line segment. It does not go up all the way because it's going to be a door. Now think of the size of the building. Now you're going to take the top back to the vanishing point that fits on that side of your building. So since it's on the left side, it's going to go back to the left vanishing point. When you go to cut it off, it's just like your buildings, and then you're going to create a vertical line that's parallel to the first vertical line you created. We will continue drawing more doors on each of our buildings. So we're going to work on the left side of this smaller building, but this time we're going to find out where the center of the build building side will go, and so that way your door will be perfectly placed in the center. The way we start this will be to create an X, from one corner to the opposite corner, diagonally going across. This does not go to the vanishing point. Do that on the, on the opposite sides. Switch it. Now this indicates the center of that plane, so that side of our building. Now we're going to draw a vertical line. Now we know where our, if we have like a double door, like we're going to create, now we know where it's going to go. We're going to create a vertical line, kind of in the middle at the bottom. We're going to go straight up, stop at that line. Now if yours is a little bit taller, it's okay if it's shorter. It doesn't need to touch. Then we're going to take it back to the vanishing point. So I'm going to stop right there once it hits another line. And then I'm going to cut it off with another parallel line. Now you have a door, or two doors, a double door, that's perfectly centered. Erase this, the X that made the center because you want no evidence of it being shown through. Let's continue making the rest of our doors. You'll notice that the doors should get smaller as they go further back to the vanishing point. So this door I'm going to make a little bit shorter. I will kind of match up the tops of my doors. I kind of did that without thinking or mentioning it earlier. But this way you have some consistency of height and it gives the illusion of depth when it decreases in size as it goes back to the vanishing point. Trim it off. And now clean up any lines if you have any tails like I do. We're going to start on the opposite side of this building. So it's going to go all to the right side this time. So this door, the vertical line, will end up being guided back to the right side of the building. You can use visual cues from the previous lines that you have created from the buildings to kind of guide you to each vanishing point if it's an exterior addition like a door. Make parallel lines continuously. Check your work. Let's go to the right side of our picture. We're going to go to the right vanishing point. We're going to start close to the vertical first line that we created for our buildings. We're going to take it back to the right vanishing point. We're going to trim off. Make sure it's parallel with the first vertical line you created for the door. For, on this part, we're going to make a center of our right side building. So you make an X through its opposite corners and straight line through the intersection. Now I like to make my vertical line on the ex exterior or like going towards the interior midsection of the building. I'm going to take it back to the vanishing point. Try to match up the height. Go back to your vanishing point. And then close it off. If you have any extra tails on it, cut it off. And then erase any evidence that you used the center to help you find the middle. Last door, vertical line close to the center of the building, the center line of the building. 
match up the height for your vertical line as close as you can. And then close it off with your parallel line. The door's a little small, but it will work. Now we're going to create inset doors. Doors that have the appearance of stepping in towards the building. So it's kind of tucked inwards. So we're going to start with a, a converging line, a small one. It goes back to the opposite side that it belongs on for that plane, for that side of the building. So since it typically would go to the left, this segment will go to your right side. Then we will make a parallel vertical line to close off that line. Now our door looks like it's going in, but it looks like there's just emptiness in there. So let's make a door. Now we're going to take that back to our left side. looks like there's a door or something kind of stopping the entrance. If we put a handle on there, just a simple little circle, now it looks like more of a door. Erase the line of the walkway, and now you have a door that's been set. Alright, we're going to start on windows. The way I like to think about using windows 